Well, I'm Harriet, and I always like to go by Harriet, um, but I'm Harriet Palmer, and I've been a midwife oh, for a long time. I did my midwifery in 59 and 60 in uh, Scotland, and I was privileged to go on Project Hope, and I had caught the one baby that was born on the ship in the island of Bali, and everybody wanted to go to a party, and they'd bounced her down the hill for a couple of hours, and thought she had a kidney problem. Well, I think she was just in labor. And she had a very nice little girl. And um, the little girl, one of the little girl's names is my, is my maiden name, Jordan. So she was Maddie Jordan Hope after the ship as well. Oh, my experience was uh, mostly with um, anything but hospital birth, except to be um, help, um, as a, like as a doula or as a... Uh, labor assistant for the woman. But um, home birth, birth home birth, um, freestanding birth, that went on from 77 to the present, and um, it's been a wonderful, wonderful adventure. I am very grateful that my life has gone the way it's gone. Well, I'm always glad when a family decides that they would like to be at home. And it's not for every midwife either. There are many, many midwives who do not feel comfortable with home birth. But when it comes together, oh, it is glorious. And um, I've done, I guess, close to 800 home births and been present probably as a second midwife at another seven or 800. And then done some assisting in various, in the, in the hospital. And it's just, um, home birth is just fabulous. And the first one and the last one, there isn't any difference. You don't get, ho, ho, hum, another home birth. It just will never be that way, I'm sure. It's an exciting time with a family. It's exciting to see a woman who is exploring something or she's finding out things about herself as she goes along or she knows what she's going to be doing. Or she's not so sure, but it's somehow it's managing. People tend to have researched it. They're not just showing up someday and saying, I think I'll think about home birth. Uh, they've really looked into it. They've talked to people. They're pretty sure about what they want to do. And they also take extremely good care of themselves. And so that makes my job really very, very easy. Um, mostly problems don't turn up. Uh, people say, well, am I a candidate for home birth? And I usually say, you know, I think you know if you're going to be somebody who ought to be thinking about a home birth. Because there are lots of things that would say, no, you really shouldn't think about it. But um, I always tell them I've got two pages, single space typed lines going down those pages of things that say, these are people who really shouldn't have home births, but nobody's ever come who's had any problem with those two pages. And so most people pretty well sort themselves out and say, yes, I'm going to have a home birth. Now, it doesn't always mean that we end up in the, ho in the home for the birth. But um, in, as, in so far as possible, we try in making the move into the hospital to make it still as much like what they want at home as possible. Uh, once in a while, it ends up in a cesarean. Uh, once in a while, there's a need for medication and a need to... Um, help the labor move along a little more quickly, but um, sometimes it's just she didn't manage to let go, and um, sometimes it's next time that she's going to let go. And I just remember um, this one one couple. Uh, she'd had a cesarean the first time and a VBAC in the hospital the second time, both with long labors. And the third one, I said, you know, it's a possibility that it might go fairly quickly, although I don't know. And so they called, well, this, it did go very quickly. And by the time I got there, uh, her neighbor, who'd had a home birth with me a few weeks before, had gotten over there, and they'd had the baby. And uh, she was sitting on the floor holding a little girl after two boys, and I have never seen anybody look more like a, like a very pleased queen. <laughs> she just was very, very happy. And things work out well. I always tell people, if I don't make it, I'm on my way. And babies that come quickly come well. 
never had a problem. If you read about babies at the toll plaza or babies on the freeway or babies in the front yard or in the bathroom at home or whatever, they've always come well if they're coming fast. And that's true. I, I just don't know anybody who's had a problem. So I just reassure them I'm coming and I'll pick up at that point, but you'll be just fine. Just let the baby come. I don't know where things have changed. Now, they haven't changed for the people having home births, but why women in the hospital um, can't trust themselves, I don't know. This rise in cesareans um, is very much concerning me. I think we're headed for lots of problems with subsequent births, although it doesn't happen for every woman who has a cesarean. But there's a fair number of, of um, births and pregnancies, too, that are going to be more of a problem. I can understand the woman who, uh, somewhat, who uh, says, well, I have to program my life, I have to schedule things, and yet I'm thinking that's kind of a sad thing because you don't schedule things with children. And if you do, I don't think that's very good for the children, so I'm not so sure where things are going with that either. If you're going to have a nanny, okay, then you do, and they go back to mothers go back to work, and that may be okay because that's what she needs to do for various reasons. But I'm thinking that childbirth really ought to be more of an adventure and more of um, a challenge that women rise to to meet, and that doesn't seem to be where it is now. So I'm not sure how we lost it, but it's uh, it's not getting anywhere. It's just been interesting to see what happens when people really make plans. Uh, these were a couple of hospital births. This lady was going to Kaiser in, in Redwood City, and the first time she went there, she wanted to be on her hands and knees. Oh, we couldn't possibly do that. So she wasn't on her hands and knees, and she had the baby, and she was always unhappy about that. Second one um, it came very quickly, and they called the ambulance, and she's rounding the corner to get into the... Uh, emergency room area and she's on her hands and knees in the ambulance and they come out and she has the baby right there on her hands and knees and she said I did it the way I wanted to <laughs> she was just ecstatic <laughs> we had another uh, another birth it was with a little kid about oh maybe a year and a half year and three quarters really young child and he just all over the place in labor here and there and somebody was assigned to keep tabs on him and all of a sudden, you know, as we were ready to have the baby, because things come kind of fast at the end, and uh, somebody said, where's Stephen? And Stephen had pulled his chair up right next to me, and he was just sitting there, just, you know, not saying a word, just sitting there and taking it all in. It was, it was just amazing. And uh, so Stephen watched the birth, and then he went up, and he took a look at his new little, I forgot whether it was a boy or girl, brother or sister, and... Um, he said, oh, you know, so that was fine. Then he was off running around having a good time again. He was not for, you know, but children, and I've had some pets, too, that have been present. Uh, I don't know about cats, but dogs. And animals and children sense that this is a very special time, and they don't mess up. They absolutely do not mess up. If they don't want to be there, then they move on out, and that's okay. But if they're going to be there and they're going to stay, they are just awed by that experience and they know how to conduct themselves. Just amazing. Just amazing. I would hope that women can take back the power that each of them very well has to have the kinds of experiences that they can look back on and say, that was one of my finest hours. And, um, and that's kind of the way I feel. I feel that way about my two births. And I think women feel that way, that they, they have this, this power and they have, they have done something that is just phenomenal. And they, when they've done it the way they want to do it, it can be done in the hospital, it can be done in a birth home, it can be done at home, it can be done anywhere. But it needs to be supported and it needs to be sort of allowed to unfold. There's, um, I think it's Harry, uh, Harriet Hardigan's picture of flowers and you know that, that that power is there to allow this unfolding and as women go through labor the, the petals are peeled back and finally you have this 
beautiful flower as the baby emerges. And it just is, it's truly, um, truly powerful. To watch this woman change during whatever amount of time I work with her in the pregnancy is, is one of the things that's just very special for me. It's, um, it's kind of like, a, it's telescoping it because she is much more into um, exploring herself, into looking deeper into herself in terms of looking ahead to this challenge and how is she going to meet it. It makes a difference in terms of partner and how is he or she going to do the supporting for her and what's happening for them and then to see what happens afterwards. And it isn't that it always, it's not always the same. Some women will do more growing than others will. And I, I can't say that I have a whole lot to do with it, but sometimes making suggestions, getting them to think about something, trying this out, um, just asking questions and seeing where it leads um, may, may make some difference, at least I hope so. But it's, uh, it's just exciting to watch because the labor and the birth are a big challenge. They're a big unknown to um, even somebody expecting a second or third one. It still is an unknown. And um, to have something as big as that sitting out there sort of looming on the horizon uh, is to some extent scary. But most of these women look at it as a challenge and they are getting themselves ready to meet that challenge. And that is, that's exciting to be part of that um, gathering the troops together and how is it going to, how is it going to work?